Hello, I'm Will Peterson and I'm the Watershed Manager for Reston Association. I'm here to talk to you about a project we did with the VCAP program. Um, as you can see, we have this big vegetated hillside. Um, unfortunately, before we did this project, um, in before 2019, there wasn't as much vegetation on this. And because the properties behind us were up um, above everywhere else, we had a lot of drainage issues. Um, you can see one house there, but it's actually a whole cluster of houses, um, all of which their drainage came um, and essentially flowed down the slope of this hill. Um, because of its steepness, we needed something a little bit more robust that would be able to handle that drainage. Um, so we worked with the Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District um, on this and got the great idea of putting a biolog terrace in. Um, so just to talk a little bit more about what the biolog terrace is, as you can see right here, um, you can see one of the biologs exposed. They're also known as core logs. And what they essentially are is uh, coconut fibers rolled into a tight bundle um, with some netting around it. It's all, um, it decomposes over time and becomes part of the hillside. Um, depending on the application, you can plant stuff directly into the biolog or in the whatever soil you put. What you can see here is one of the wooden stakes. Um, the stakes are probably about three and a half to four feet tall. Um, and it's really easy to install. Um, essentially, one of these biologs can be 10 feet to 20 feet in length, and they're usually around 16 inches in diameter. Um, you might have to use some shovel or a tiller or something to create like a little trench to set it in. Um, and then once you have it in the place that you want, you just take a post hole pounder or a mallet, you pound these into an appropriate depth so that it stays stable. There's one on both sides. You can see one back here holding it in place. We have three separate terraces of biologs. Um, each one, uh, the bottom one is the, the longest. Once we installed those, we put in some um, bushes as well as plugs and native seed mix. Everything that we planted was native uh, just because we also want to support native plant populations and uh, native pollinators. Um, as you can see, this was installed in 2019 um, in around October, November time frame, and it's October, or almost October now, so this is after a year of initial installation. And as you can see, there is a ton of plant growth. It's stabilized. Um, we don't have any huge signs of drainage coming down or erosion issues, so it's really held up the slope, um, and we've been very happy with it.